The blood is the life of the body. It carries the oxygen and sugar, which power all the organs to do their work, exactly like when you use a battery. The blood travels through what's called the cardiovascular system. So it starts with the heart. The heart squeezes the blood into this huge chain of blood vessels made of a material like a rubber band. So when the heart squeezes the blood into them, they stretch out and snap back. And the snap back keeps propelling the blood forward until it reaches all the organs fairly. The heart trying to squeeze the blood through the blood vessels is like you trying to squeeze a toothpaste through a toothpaste tube. If, it, if the tube for some reason is tight, you have to squeeze very hard to get only a little bit of toothpaste. And so also when the pressure in the blood vessels is very high, the heart has to squeeze very hard and can only get a little bit of blood out. So when the blood vessels are tight, we call that hypertension. The blood pressure is a result of three things, the heart pumping, how much blood there is to pump, and how tight the arteries are. So all the medications will do one of three things. They either relax the heart from pumping so hard, or they let the kidney let some fluid out so there's less fluid to pump, or they can relax the arteries themselves. And some medications will do a combination of both, for example, relax the heart and relax the arteries. The research long ago showed that if your top number for your blood pressure is higher than 140 or your bottom number is higher than 90, that causes the heart muscle to grow. And it's a pretty agreed upon consensus that we don't want the heart muscle to grow because the body can't sustain this growth too long. A lot of people hope that diet and exercise will control their blood pressure, and a lot of times it can, but you have to be realistic. If this is the most that you can do with diet and exercise and your blood pressure is still high, you don't want to risk having a heart attack or risk having a stroke or end up on dialysis when it was preventable. We have very excellent research where they compared different diets, and they found out that actually the hypertension diet gives one of the best outcomes overall for people, and it's called the DASH diet dietary approach to stopping hypertension. And what I like about it is it has exact quantities, but it does give you like a full variety and wide range of food that you can eat, but it gives you more the proportion of what you should be eating. The effect of exercise is to relax the arteries, to relax the heart, and to make the heart's pumping more effective. The recommendation to use it to control hypertension is about 30 minutes, five days a week. You don't need to leave your house. You can use your own body weight, a simple uh, exercise like sitting in the chair and standing up, you know, as many times as you can do it till you get tired. A lot of times, even like at your lunch break, if, if you get like even a 30 minute break, if you can exercise 10 minutes and then eat your lunch, it's helpful.